This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import items from Quixel Bridge. So, this is actually quite easy to do. And if we hop over to the content here, you can either open the marketplace or open Quixel Bridge. Now, by the way, I have done this. Uh, there's a lot of extra steps that I've done before uh, this here. And one of those things is to sign in, etc. So you will need to have an account and you will need to sign in. So this gives you a lot of cool assets here. Uh, and there's a bunch of different uh, things that you can do. Uh, for example, you have uh, 3D assets, um, plants, uh, etc. I uh, even have some metahumans, which is actually quite interesting. Um, but this Quixel Bridge will give you a lot of really amazing ac uh, uh, access to some 3D models here, all right? And so um, one thing that I'm going to do uh, is let's hop into the collections here. And then let's hop into the environment. And you can see that there's all these different really cool environments here that you can use. And you'll you'll notice that the, the textures are pretty, pretty uh, high quality. But what we want to do for this particular one here is we're just going to go to the abandoned factory, okay? And you'll see that there's a ton of different options in here. Uh, for example, ev everything that you need, uh, for example, the Rebel Cable, uh, everything that's in here will have its own material. But we're concerned with maybe, um, uh, for example, downloading a few of these here. So I'm going to select, let's see, uh, let's let's import some barrels, okay? Uh, we'll do that here. And then we'll also import, um, there's a concrete floor that I, looks pretty good. Uh, these concrete slabs also looks good, but I'm going to do the cinder block wall, okay? So uh, let's go ahead, let's, uh, let's select all these here. I'm just pushing shift. The concrete floor, first the metal looks pretty good too. And then um, just just this here, just to kind of show you here. And you'll you'll have the option of, you know, whatever quality, medium quality, low quality. If you're prototyping, it's almost best to use the low quality, but I'm just going to go with medium for this. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, I need to have the best game in the world. So therefore, I need the highest of quality of assets. Well, that, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, just because if you use the highest quality of assets when you haven't even gone into full production yet, that's going to be a problem. So if you're just prototyping, I would just simply uh, download that here. So once you download that all, uh, you'll see it might take a little bit of time here. Uh, they are pretty in-depth uh, and, and major assets here. Uh, but let's just go ahead and let's kind of um, just look at this here. Uh, you can see that some of them will download a bit faster here. And there you go. So let's go ahead and let's add these in here. And you can uh, simply, uh, okay, it said five uh, successfully exported uh, assets. All right, so let's minimize this for a second and hop back into here. And let's open up the content drawer and you'll look at this here. Uh, there is a mega scans folder. And so we have 3D assets and look at that. We have some 3D assets here. So we can literally go drag out these barrels which I think looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's just quickly do that uh, with all three of these here. We'll just drag out all three of these barrels. I think this is looking pretty good. And you'll see that the, 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 the asset quality is pretty high. Now, after doing game development for so many years, um, you'll notice that um, I've noticed that the assets are just at the highest quality here, okay? So now we have a couple of materials here. So what I'm going to do is, a, is let's add in the uh, the floor right to the floor and you can simply just drag it out here now what's going to happen is you're thinking wait a minute didn't work what is this i don't know what this is well if you look at the bottom here you'll see that it is compiling the shaders okay and this might take a little bit of time but as you can see we have a low uh a low um i think that's a little bit lower version here uh, or lower quality here until these shaders do indeed compile. Now, since I'm running, um, uh, since I'm running Camtasia to record this, it might take a little bit longer uh, than expected. Uh, but for the most part, uh, it will it will indeed work. And while we're here, let's go to the cinder blocks wall, and then let's kind of drag that over here. All right. 
Now, what you'll also notice is you'll see that the everything is stretched. Now, that is a topic for a different time, but if we undo that here uh, and, for example, add in the cinder block to the um, uh, to everything here, uh, looks like that that was all right. So if we go to the cinder block here and drag it onto this here, you'll see that again it will compile the shaders, and it might take a little bit of time to do that, right? So it's it's taking its dear sweet time to compile, but nevertheless it will it will compile. Um, and then you can see that it's still compiling, but you know, all of these things work. Now, right now we haven't had physics or anything like that, but that, that looks pretty good in terms of, a uh, of an asset that you can download here. Okay. And there we go. It's like, it's taking its dear sweet time, but nevertheless, it is working here. I'm going to pause it so that, uh, we can let these shaders indeed compile. All right, so now that that's done here, you can kind of see how that works here. Now, the other thing is that in order to tile this, that's uh, it's being stretched at the moment. So um, if you really want to make this work, you need to use a BSP. But you can see that the the uh, everything in this other cube, which is tiled one to one, uh, it looks pretty good. So uh, what I mean by that is that you know Unreal as of now doesn't really have that functionality. Uh, to to sim simply scale things. Uh, so as you can see, as, as I scale this out, um, it doesn't uh, scale along with it. Of course, if you really want to see it here, uh, you can take this floor and drag it over here, and you can kind of see, you know, that actually does look pretty good if we could tile it on the floor, all right? So there you go. That is how you use the Quixel Bridge. Thanks for watching. See you in another video. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.